To shut down the system at the end of our experiments, we're going to follow the shutdown instructions, which are simply on the other side of the startup instructions, and will always be in this room. So the first uh, step of the shutdown instructions is to lower the objectives by pressing and holding down the Z button. So that is this button on the microscope. If we press and hold that button, the objectives will go down and move away from the sample. The next step is to remove the sample lid, if applicable, that's step two. So to do that, we need to open up this enclosure and turn on the light so we can see what we're doing. The light can be turned on here. We can open the enclosure. We need to open these two and push this back so we have a little bit more room. And then we are going to remove this lid and there's a tab that can help you here. And remove this lid. Once we've removed the lid, we are going to remove the sample. That's step three. So in this case, it's very simple. It's a slide. I'm just going to remove it. The next step is to remove the sample holder insert. That's step four. We're going to just pick this up and put it either here or alternatively, we can put them there. And we want to keep the sample holders, at least the ones that are used frequently, inside the enclosure so that they are at the proper temperature. Once we've removed the sample holder insert, we clean the oil objective, if applicable. To clean the oil objective, we use lens paper, taking care uh, not to touch the parts of the lens paper that we touch to the objective. And then after wiping off the excess oil from the objective, we use lens paper again um, put a little bit of 70% ethanol, which we have here, on the lens paper and use it to wipe the objective gently. The next step is to switch to the 10x objective, which we can do through the touch screen here. The next step, step seven, is to make sure the incubator enclosure is closed and the incubator light is off. So we're going to make sure the enclosure is closed. And then the incubator light is off. Then we are going to export images to the server and disconnect from the server. Um, I've already done that in this case, so we don't need to. I don't need to show you in the video. Then we're going to exit Fusion and make sure that the shutdown is complete. So to exit Fusion, we just X out here, and you'll see when that happens. We get this shutting down message, so we want to wait until that's complete. The microscope will make a bunch of noises as that's happening. So step 10 is optional. You can export your specific software settings with a macro. So um, I need to set this up for you if you're interested, but if you want to retain the settings that you use as opposed to reusing the generic settings each time you start the software, uh, if that's the case, I will set something up for you which will look like this. You will have a folder in this image disk D user settings. So for example, I have a folder. And in that folder, there will be a macro called Save Fusion Settings and your name. If you double click on that, it will create a folder with your settings for today with a timestamp. And then uh, it will also put your um, settings in a latest folder uh, so that you can recover it later with this Load Fusion Settings macro. The next step is to close the CO2 tank if you used it. So the CO2 tank is here and you can close it by turning it clockwise. In addition, you have to set the CO2 control panel to 0%. So if you look here, you can touch this, and then go down to 0%, set set. That'll make sure that an alarm doesn't go off when the CO2 drops. You will then check the calendar to see if anyone's booked within the next two hours. So to check the calendar, if you go to Firefox, that will default to the Dragonfly calendar. Uh, so you can check here if there's anyone after you. If anyone's booked within the next two hours, you are done. You can log out of the iLab kiosk. If you're not, you should continue with the checklist. So you need to log out of the computer. There's no need to shut down. Uh, the startup instructions go over how to turn the computer on, but um, the idea is that everyone will just log off and not actually shut down the computer. So we're gonna go to Hermione, sign out. 
Then you're going to turn off power strips one, two, and three. And at that point, you're ready for the last step, which is to log out of the iLab kiosk. If someone weren't coming within the next two hours, the answer to this question, is anyone booked within the next two hours, would have been yes, and you would have logged out of the iLab kiosk at that point.